and hello everybody. So, it's Monday, and uh, Monday late morning, so I'm sure everybody's already seen the penny list, and I already have Cam wanting to be in the video with me. So, we're just going to go ahead and do this. Oh, we got some glasses on. Okay, what do you got to say today, dude? Listen, oh yeah. These are shooting glasses. Oh, for your Nerf gun? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, do you... Uh, what am I going to say again? I don't know, you're the one that walked up. Hi guys, it's back. It's Mommy. With small tubes and teals. And that's it. All right, that was really good. Nice. Anyways, yeah, so this is E. These deals and steals. And Cam the man. So we have the penny list, obviously. I'm sure all of you already have it. Um, I just want to show you uh, the actual Bendin books. Um, we've talked about them. I've given them to you, but I figured, you know, a video for just them. And I think I got most of them. I think there's still some hanging out there. Um, but at least to give you an actual visual, um, cause sometimes, well, there's a lot of Bendin books and if they're not in the display and most of them are already mixed in, then, you know, it's a little bit harder to find them. But also, um, don't want to forget the calendars and planners and all of the uh, fall stationery that went because a lot of that kind of falls behind racks, um, can get mixed in with the books. So make sure you're keeping an eye out for any of those. Um, and I want to show you some of those planners that maybe normally you wouldn't pay any attention to because um, it's not an actual calendar. Just as you're going through this stuff, you know, make sure you're keeping the other things in mind that have recently pennied because they could be mixed in. All right. Lastly, gray dot. Um, because of gray and blue uh, being the additional 50% off, and I found a couple different things that... Um, same thing, keep your eye out for because they are very cheap at this time, but they will be pennying. So, gonna go ahead and flip ya. Oh, and oh my goodness, I have to announce the $100 gift card winner. The problem is, okay, it's Wilson. Um, I do not remember if it was Kay or Lisa, goodness, and I told myself 22 times to remember this name, so I will notify the person on the post, um, that they have won a gift card, um, congratulations, and, uh, thank you guys again, like, I literally thought, you know, I would get five views a couple times or something like that. So um, I'm still, hey, super excited um, that we're over 1,100 now. And um, I am officially monetized, I believe. I have to do one more step. And basically that just means that you guys are helping my family. Um, every click, every like, Every comment, every subscription, um, anything that you do with my videos, with my channel, is going to basically YouTube and their sponsors, then I will get a little bit of a kickback. And um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, I have to stop saying that, but I am. Um, we are, I'm sorry, personal, we are... Um, moving out to our family land um that's where the mushrooming was taking place and why i need to do this video quickly and it's not happening um anyways we are trying to get out there um 
w- next to my mom. Um, and we've started clearing land, and we're trying to decide uh, what to do. Um, we need to drill for a well. Um, we have to, yeah, we're like starting fresh. And but to be back home on family land near all my family, you know, is very important. Um, just because everybody's getting older, you know. Um, and you know, there's a lot of mushrooms out there. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, this is why I'm doing this. I I work. We run a business. Um, we do well in our communities, and but we still need that extra bump. I feel like like every other household out there. You know what I mean? Um, it's still a struggle. Uh, you you got to hustle. You got to hustle. Um, it's having one job anymore is like I don't know a dream to me. So, anyways, I'm sorry. Way off subject. Thank you all for watching. It means so much. You have no idea. So let's go ahead and we'll just start with the pennies. Okay. Um, <coughs> so we have these types of books that could easily be missed because they don't look like the other ones. These are actual chapter books and they're the classics. Um, the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, of course, and of Green Gables, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and The Call of the Wild. Now, there may be more out there. Like I said, I don't know. This is what I found um, at 90% off. Um, but it's going to be the chapter books that are marked $1.50. There are currently classics out there that are marked $4. They are not... They're not a penny. They are $4. You have to find the ones marked $1.50. Okay? Next is the little baby books. Now, you're going to have to double check on this because when I got these, they were 90% off. But then at another store, they were not. So I found that strange. But there's, I've got a choo-choo train and an elephant, I believe. Yes, um, I'll give you the SKUs on these so you can see what the price is at your store. Um, well, you know, lighting. Here we go. Because these are so cute. Um, opposites and oh, my favorite things. And I'm sorry if you hear in the background. Yeah, thank you, FGTV. Uh-huh. My children are obsessed with you. It's great. I need to give you a couple of these UPCs. And something like this, um, if you can get these and you're like, why would I go get these and what would I do with these? These would be perfect things to donate. Um, donate to personal libraries. Um, people have little libraries in their yards. Um, also, the nursing home. I have donated a lot of coloring books and different um, activity books and such. Um, and, you know, more children ones. So, um, this is definitely Head Start. Um, in your community, there's a number of places you could donate these things. So, you know, if they're out there and you have the time, go for it and, you know, get them donated. It's better than them going in the trash. All right. Um, there are four different kinds of this kind. Again, now, the common theme here is $3. There are Benden books that are $5. They are not part of the sale or the pennies. It's the ones that are marked $3. Okay. These, there's two red and two yellow. There's magic numbers, magic letters, magic math subtraction, and magic math addition. I got these ahead of time for my kiddo. So that's why I made sure I got each one of them. Um, I'll give you UPCs. 
And yes, um, so basically, I mean, things should switch to a penny. Um, for me, it's usually around... Whoa. Usually around 1 or 1.30 a.m. Um, I'm in Eastern time zone, you know, because Indiana's on the East Coast. I still don't get that, by the way. Um, but that's how you can, how you can check. And then once they go a penny, they should stay a penny. But, yes, some pennies get reset. Dollar General is very sporadic, so it's hard to tell, okay? Um, these are the bigger ones. You'll notice they have special little things. On the left, there are ones that look very similar to these. I don't think they're marked $3, but they're not any of them with the markers or the coloring pen colored pencils. Um, they are ones with erasers. That's an eraser, that's an eraser, and that is a slap bracelet. Okay, we got Avengers. Well, it's nice and bright. I'm so glad. Did Aunt B get you that? Nerf gun yesterday? No. No. I really am trying, but it doesn't seem to want to work at all. Oh, there we go. Okay. Rainbow corns. And the favorite, LOL. All right. And we have the gray dot um, that I don't want you to forget about. The cap and t-shirt combo. We've talked about that one a few times. We have... Pajama pants, men's and women's that are wrapped, that are gray dot. Um, oh, I found these girls' tights that I thought were super cute. They're two packs, and they're also gray dot. Um, I showed you the mossy oak. Oh, goodness. This was one. I don't know if this was on a list, but anybody that's been... Um, these have been like $1.80 for, I feel like, five years. It's even crumpled up. I didn't care because it finally changed to a penny. <laughs> um, so anybody that knows uh, has been shopping for a bit. These have been out there forever. Um, they're finally a penny, guys. But it's hard to tell where you're going to find them. Um, and don't forget about the display. The display shows the gray dot. If these are mixed in, then you may not know because they do not have a gray dot on them. So it is the hooded sweatshirt. It's the crew sweatshirt. There's women's sweatpants and men's sweatpants. And this actually brings me to a little... So, um, yeah. I heard over the weekend uh, how much some managers um, dislike the penny shoppers and, you know, us scavengers and scoundrels and, I guess, I don't know, bad people. Um, like I said earlier in this video, I'm never going to get this one to work. Um, you know, this is to help my family. I have a family just like everybody else does. I work just like everybody else does. Um, one thing that I count on every year are sweatshirts and sweatpants because for our business, I need them printed. 
And if I go through the normal printing process, I'm going to spend about $40 to $45 per sweatshirt. Maybe $30. But if I get the sweatshirts and I buy them before they are a penny, I do. I buy a lot of stuff before they are a penny. So, who? Do you have any idea how much money I save? And I mean, we wear these clothes all the time because we work. And I have an employee, so I provide her with clothing. And, you know, so the t-shirts and the sweatshirts, when they go on sale, or if I can get them at a remodel for a penny, I mean, that is saving me. That is saving my family. That is, you know, putting another meal on the table. So, you know, I feel like some of these managers that are just very angry, um, they need to realize, like, we're humans too. And, and maybe you need to separate us. I mean, I get you. Believe me, there's the bad group. I get it. But I think you need to also consider that there's a good group that's really just trying to do good things, um, provide for their families, um, donate more than they've ever been able to donate. I would have never been able to donate like I did last year if it wasn't for penny shopping. I don't have that kind of money. Like, no way. I've given away so much stuff that I would have never been able to do that. So, like, this is a big deal to me. Um, to help other people and even the fact of me talking about it and giving out information and you know and people obviously so I mean I'm giving up but it's I want to help other people and I just I really hate the way that the penny or the clearance shoppers are treated sometimes and I think sometimes the managers need to think about that too um, we're not all bad. Some of us or most of us are just trying to survive like you are. So keep that in mind, okay? All right, guys. Have a good Monday. Get out there Tuesday. Don't forget about fall stationery that may still be hanging out there behind stuff that maybe it wouldn't automatically catch your eye, okay? Don't forget about that stuff. Obviously, we're going to have an F20 on them. The ones in the normal aisle with no F20 don't count. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.